When you look at these rugged anglers, they've out there fishing. It's, you know, they put up with a lot of nasty weather conditions. And we want to be there side by side with them and offer gear that holds up to their expectations of what a Grunin's waiter would look like and perform like. We had some you know, great rep relationships with, with fly retailers, um, and the number one requested product by a long shot was waders. The design process for us on, on the waiter project was, was really about mobility first, durability through seam engineering, and repairability. If you look at our leg seaming and our patterning, and it's a very different way of building a waiter than has ever been done before. The fit is so important on waders because you don't want to be um, limited to what you can do. You want to be able to get down and get that fish and not like have to breathe out before you bend down. You want to be able to get in and out of the boat easy and not worry about being constricted. We had a really good relationship with Gore-Tex. They were immediately behind us. Every single one of these designs has been, you know, been scrutinized by Gore. And when we sit down at the table, you know, they want to make sure that we've done our due diligence for field testing and we've done our due diligence for just making sure that these things are going to be like reliably rugged and durable over the life of the garment. The most striking difference on the waiter is the suspension system. It's pretty unique and usually you can adjust a waiter front to back like this and this one, it can go up and down and the spacer mesh that our industrial designer came up with is, uh, it's pretty spectacular. That suspension system came from how climbing harnesses are built. It's got to fit over layers or it could be under, you know, it could be over just a, a shirt on a warm day. But a lot of people are going to be stacking a, a backpack or, you know, a waiting pack on top of their suspension system. So it's got to be able to nest between your apparel layers, your insulation layers, and then whatever you're going to, whatever you're going to be hauling your equipment in through fabric selections, reinforcements, being able to easily access seams. We can build it from the ground up with repairability in mind. A lot of abrasion testing, uh, pinhole puncture testing, like the true traditional puncture testing, just, you know, like it doesn't really apply to waders. You know, it doesn't really apply to, you know, like submerged garments. So, um, you know, like really solving for the fact that like, you're gonna, you're probably gonna get a hole in your waders at some point. So like, let's find the one that lasts the longest um, and solve problems to, you know, to replace parts on the waiter. We want those processes at the repair facility to be something that's very easy to execute, something that's quick to turn around, and something that's like a, a reliable and repeatable process. What is unique to this team and these waiters being launched is that Grundens has a hundred years of experience in the rainwear space and keeping these rugged commercial fishermen safe and dry with a great tool. A lot of brands rely on just replacing waders, you know, and I think that like, it's the wrong way to approach building a durable, lasting product. Like, you know, our path to sustainability is products that are going to be in the market, you know, 15, 20 years from now.